Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today in this video we are going to learn about basis set. Like what are the basis set and what is basis set and how to choose a basis set for a specific molecules and other things. So we'll be looking at the basis set and the physical meaning of basis set, the STOs and GTOs that are the various types of orbitals and the basis set notation and how to choose a basis set, quality of basis set methods versus the um, basis set and the BSSC that is the basis set superposition error. So basis set like how we will define is basis set is a you know mathematical function which represents the electronic wave function okay uh, suppose you have a generally you will be having see we solve the Schrodinger equation right so we assume some of the wave function so some in the electronic when we have more particles it's not easy to you know guess the wave function so the these guess this the guessing the basis this wave function is coming from the basis set okay now so basis set help us to solve this coordinate equation for a multi electron species or for a bigger system in this case we uh, approximate like linear combination of basis function which is the uh, wave function which gives you the molecular orbital okay and we use here uh, two types of orbital one is the quotient type orbital that is also known as gtos another is slater type orbital that is stos and other than this there is a numerical atomic orbital so these are uh, three varieties of atomic orbital we use generally in the basis set so why we use basis set suppose uh, you want to find out the electronic energy of molecule we have to use a basis set if suppose you want to find out the wave function of molecule so that you can find out the different properties like nmr ir and such etc in those cases we need to have a basis set so that we can find out the energy and other properties of a molecule okay so how to understand a basis set so how you will understand what is the basis set just assume this car is a wave function okay just assume this car is a wave function that will give you the atomic orbitals. Now, this wave function is again a combin linear combination of different bases, right? Which give you the basis set. Basis set is a linear combination of different types of bases. Now, just assume this uh, basis function. This is the wave function here. Now, these small, small uh, circle balls, circular balls are the bases. Okay, now again in this second one, we have the bigger ball and the smaller ball third case then you have a smaller ball also so in this case you can see the when the basis there is just one basis function you can see the you it's not you know ex we cannot replicate the wave function exactly still there are some of the space or you can say that there is some error right when we increase more number of basis set our accuracy is getting increased right when we increase further increase the basis set see the wave function this third picture and this wave function, this car, look like similar, right? Again, we increase the number of basis set, it will be looking alike. So, basis set is what? Basis set is a linear combination of different types of bases which represents a wave function of a molecule, okay? So, using this, we can find out the like uh, wave function for a molecule. Okay. Now, what is the physical meaning of the basis set? Generally, see, there are, you know, usually basis functions describe the electron density around an atom. And combining these atomic bases and the functions, we can yield the electron density or the distribution in the all molecule. So, basis set is generally, you know, <coughs> used to find out uh, the approximate the wave function bigger the bigger and better the basis set closer we get to wave function that have already shown you before that if we increase the basis we will be getting better wave function and the energy will be better right better means energy will be like it will be more to the true value <coughs> nowadays almost everyone utilizes Gaussian, uh, Gaussian functions in the basis set generally we use Gaussian function in the basis set why we use I'll be telling you one more Gaussian type fun uh, function are used for each atomic orbital in each atoms in the molecule of the interest. Okay, so you have 
why we generally use only uh, slated type orbital or a Gaussian type orbital? Why only these things? So the answer is lying here. The electron distribution around an atom can be represented in several ways, like polynomial function and uh, slated type function, Gaussian function, and there are so, so many different types of functions that we can use for the electronic distribution around an atom. But all of like from all of these. A slater type of orbital uh, function and the Gaussian type function are mathematically simple and hence it is used uh, as a basic function in a molecular, molecular calculus.